Hayankur, Dheeraj, Divya, Nihar. How are you guys? Hello, ma'am. So good. I was uh, just thinking today is Saturday. Who's gonna come in the meetup? I was like, uh, should I do the meetup today or not? So thank you for joining in. So quickly, if I can have um, some, you know, I know a lot of you have joined in because there are, there might be a lot of questions that you have. So um, let me share a screen and I would like to know the questions which you probably would have in your mind. So if you can just share that, either you can speak or you can just put those questions in the chat window. So that way I should be able to understand and structure my presentation accordingly. Good evening, ma'am. Can we ask uh, initially or we wait for your presentation? After that, I, we can ask the questions. I think it's better if you can ask the questions right away. I should be able to, you know, add them in my presentation. I should be able to answer them in my presentation. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Dheera Saxena. I have purchased your one time uh, around one years back, one uh, shortcuts of uh, small. I'm an aspirant for this, but I have done a blender because I'm working in a company, a section company. I have just taken the Adereka classes and gone to the uh, first attempt. It was failed because the scenario of the exam was totally changed. And second attempt, I had uh, hard, very hard. But unfortunately, at that time, I was fever was 103. But oh. I am not able to cancel. So it was marginally, uh, marginally failed, as I guess, as my report. Right. Now, even I have not left the hope to complete my PMP. So I'm a big fan on your, I have seen your, all the videos in uh, YouTube. I have uh, two, three times and uh, uh, wanted to know when you will be on live and can ask the question. Now, again, I came to India. I have changed my job. Okay. I was in Tata earlier. I was changed the job and I'm eager to complete my PMP. Sure. So I want your, your uh, suggestion. I have seen your uh, YouTube video ki, just you start as a fresh, but because uh, as you are aware about that, ki I have around uh, 14 months I have given on PMP some sometimes. Okay. So just suggest me how I have a one attempt left, which is uh, expiring on uh, July. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, I'll keep that in my mind while I present. Any other question anybody has? And uh, uh, I'm sorry to hear all your experiences. Um, so, any other person uh, has any questions uh, specific? Hello, hello ma'am. Uh, this is Ankur here. Yeah, uh, I work for a trading company as a pre-sales, post-sales engineer, uh, kind of a tech lead profile I have. Okay. So, I have uh, initially also, I have, I have a conversation with you through WhatsApp uh, that whether this profile will suit for doing a PMP because I want to go towards the operations role. Plus, uh, this is going to be my first attempt. I've never given any PMP exams or kind of any managerial exams before. So okay. I'm totally new to that. I saw your live classes and I was I was about to join in March, but somehow I'm not able to. But okay. uh, I'm going to join in somewhere in this coming batch, which is up press. But okay. uh, I, I want to know, because this program is of 21 days and I, I, it's really, really making me skeptical how within a 24 days everything is going to complete it. So right. it's just in my mind as I, it, that's I why understand. I joined this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I, I saw that 21 days uh, you have a full plan and in which we're going to give some uh, test and all this. So whether yeah. you're going to discuss the test results uh, after the exam, we can discuss it and we can know where we are doing it wrong and right. And definitely. Then that, it. So short answer right away, definitely yes. Because there's no point you yeah. guys doing work in isolation and I don't even interfere so uh, my 
whole purpose of being live with you and being there in the interactive classes is so that we optimize our time so you do homework after the class the homework we discuss any questions so some things which you do um correct which i know a lot of you do correctly so you can see what is those things and a few things which you are not able to understand why and rational we discuss we have lot of discussion in the class so definitely we would discuss most of your questions in the class and that's why interactive uh, sessions are most helpful i'll i'll talk about ankur you know the other things which you have in your mind so how would we complete in 21 days and things like that right <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i will i will yeah i think that will cover in the presentation that's why i am not coming yeah, into that yeah 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 sure okay any yeah. other question any other person so i have a screen you know another screen here so that's the reason i look at this place my camera is in front of me so don't worry if i'm looking at this place i'm looking at you guys at that point of time so other people in case you have any question any apprehension or you just here to um, so, so the idea of going live is to understand you your apprehension or the problems which you are facing so that i can talk about what can you do next uh, the idea is not me to tell you that you should join my workshop that's not the idea the idea is to help you to find your next steps and you can be you know the way um, i think uh, we had first person i don't remember your name sorry dheeraj right so dheeraj yes, had yeah, dheeraj so dheeraj had this problem that he has given the exam twice and what should be best optimal um, work or way for him to complete his pmp uh, i'll try and give those solution or answers in case anybody else is has any actually ma'am i interrupt you actually i have lost lot of money as well as uh, invest the time but in return of that i was not get the as i want so after uh, after this money is not a matter for anybody for on the professional side but the time which i have given to the pmp which was not guided by the people which i have choose in the market i think it is my wrong uh, direction i have gone there so i want to correct my and uh, as i say pmp is a very good course i have not passed but i have the what the experience which i have learned and uh, build up my right. confidence yeah. which is enhanced so i want your time to give me a maybe a, some other people also having a same problem in the forum yeah. so just guide me and we want to do it definitely sure um any other happy hension any other person so otherwise i can start i'll start with my introduction first i don't know how many of you know me or how many don't know me um so i think jisha want to talk jisha you have hello yeah. yes ma'am yeah. ma'am good evening hi jisha tell me ma'am this is jisha actually currently actually uh, i am an electrical engineer yeah so and i am working for the last 7 uh, to 8 years okay uh, in the energy sector power sector okay so uh, i want you to throw some light that how pmp will benefit me since i am okay. from a non it background or how, how it will help me sure okay your location where do you work i'm working uh, i work in gurgaon okay you want to go abroad you a or some place yeah like i am planning to yeah okay yeah okay yeah yeah actually my brother is in dubai so i'm planning to move to dubai so that's the first thing i will get a good option to pmp <laughs> yeah yeah so um so people outside india really really want any certification to look forward to pmp is one of the certification wherein if you show people going to hire you uh, specifically in middle east us uh, europe now it's getting accepted a lot middle east and usa is the region you really should have a pmp so that you can go and get absorbed in the job so that's the reason you should okay so um when 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 i was in abroad i start pmp now i'm in india still i want to do pmp which is good <laughs> good to know but why did you select adureka i just don't understand adureka is actually actually ma'am nobody my no friend was 
having this PMP. I was in Ethiopia. It was yeah. a very isolated country. So I have started and go for the Google and yeah. we started at Eureka. I was very confident the result was good. When I go to the exam, it was a totally opposite scenario. Okay. I have not understood where I am landing. But after that, I started my work hard and uh, with my forum, I have just did the last, I think, four or five questions I lost. Uh, that is my result, which I understand. Anyway, it is a good learn. Again, I yeah, think yeah, I it know will it. be a better to more learn. Correct. Yeah. True. True. Okay. So if you have questions in between, you can type on the chat window. I'm also looking at the chat window here. So, um, you know, in case people have any questions, I'll, I'll be looking at that also. So about me, I have... I've been doing coaching for the last eight to nine years. Um, so I coach people like you in the, the classes, like uh, from my banner called Kavita Sharma. And I also do a lot of consulting work with other organizations with uh, different consultants. So for example, I work with IIL and I coach different organizations. Um, I also have some organizations whom I go and or, you know, coach on project management, risk management, um, project management fundamentals. So those are few things I do. From last eight years, I have written three books, um, actually four books. So three on PMP and the fourth one is on CAPM. Um, I also work with PMI. I was uh, evaluating PM Box 6. I was looking at PM Box 6, reviewing it. So you can see my name in the significant contributor in PM Box 6. Um, some of you probably know me through YouTube channel. Uh, so I do some YouTube channels which are there, uh, not much. I plan to do more so that you have more access to more videos. So that's, before that I was with Microsoft, I was with Sapient, Tech Mahindra, Satyam. You probably would have heard these companies somewhere around 20 years total experience. I managed 35 to 70 odd people um, in different domains. So testing, uh, development, architect, process. So I've seen it all work, work with all these dimensions. Um, about the PMP, um, the entire journey, um, since I was, I started off teaching, I, I got myself PMP certified when I was, I left Microsoft in 2012. That's the time when I um, passed the PMP exam. And from there, I started you know, coaching people. So if I look at PMP, uh, PMBOK and the way exam has evolved, it has become easier from the previous uh, few years. So currently, if you are from a background which is more of engineer perspective, you've not even managed few of the, um, you know, um, people in construction and stuff like that, don't worry about that because if you manage, if you see the definition of a project is if you have done something from start to end, it is unique. It's never been done before and it has a duration. So if you have done something which is either in operations, you do something which has start date and date. For example, any new big change which you do and upload it on the server, that's also a project for you guys. So, um, so project. Definition wise, you should be eligible for the PMP exam. And I see Jishan asking this question, or some of you probably would have this question. So check whether you have done something unique. And I think day before yesterday, I have spoken with somebody, he was a college professor and he wanted to know whether he's eligible for PMP or not. So in case you're done, you're not even a manager, don't worry about your role or profile designation. If you've been doing some work which is unique, which has a start date and date, you are eligible if you have done it for 35 months. Okay, so that's the eligibility. Any question on the eligibility perspective? If you have. Ma'am, if it is like something, a, a small project, not like a bigger one year project or six month project, because we actually, uh, what my profile is mostly, uh, I, I work with uh, different uh, DRDO, ISRO, and uh, HL kind of organizations where we 
where we supply some satellite receivers to them and based on their application we work some on integration part and we supply so as my pre sales and post sales i work for the integration part also plus the later post support and in middle if it is something called as integration or something that i do so okay. in that case does this lead to me towards the operations role or towards the project management role so in, in, case, in any kind of organization in case you doing integration i again look at the definition of a project is it the integration is it unique are you doing it for it's it must be unique for that particular uh, controller or whichever you developing right yes and it has a start date so it 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 is it is developed by different people also but we do different type of set up and we program yeah, yeah. yeah mod just like not any hardware modification not any software modification only two different systems we put together we test together and we give to them according to their applications and design don't worry about it you should be eligible if just see there is a download if you go to kavitasharma.net there is a place called download there is a menu item just download just go through that video download that particular excel file write your experience and see whether you are eligible for that or not so it should be easier for you to compile because i would it, it's fine if you have a uh, you know an experience of 3 months for one project or 2 months for one project but compile it and see how many months it's going to come to okay you need to compile it okay okay so punit you don't need to submit resume again you need to go to my website called kavitasharma.net i'm just going to give you guys url so that you know um it's called pmp application so just go to this pmp application template and here there is a video and there is a template you can download um so just see whether your experience of ics put that in your in the in an excel so it's easier for you to compile and stuff okay any other question on the eligibility okay so let's talk about um, the few things which has so pmp exam used to be typically 200 questions and it used to have scenario based questions and a b c d uh, um choices out of which you could have only one choice which you could um select now it has changed what has changed it only 180 questions now um they used to be no breaks before now you get two breaks in between two breaks of 10 minutes so a lot of things have changed so if you want to know about new pmp exam you can click on this url and you can get to know it's pmi url you would have more details about it but it's just quick overview so um it used to be 230 minutes um and 10 10 minutes break now uh, the new student who are who are uh, enrolling for the pmp exam their email says 270 minutes now so the question because of the constant feedback from the student i think pmi has increased the duration of the total um, hours so it is instead of 240 minutes or 4 hours it is increased to more time plus you get 10 minutes and 10 minutes of break so it has become easier you are getting more time you can do it from home or you can do it from a prometric center that's there however the changes which has happened the domains have changed some of you who have done attempts earlier so how many of you have done attempts earlier um before 2021 if you can just type yes no i would have get a i would get a fair idea anybody did i know dheeraj done dheeraj has done okay most of you okay most of you have not which is a good thing okay great so um only for dheeraj then who has not uh, who has looked at previous questionnaires um we used to have initiating planning executing monitoring and controlling and closing sort of uh, domains it is changed now 
Now the domains is the kind of questions you're gonna get from uh, different part of project management is 42% questions gonna come from people. How are you able to work with people? How would you motivate your team members, for example? How do you develop your team? What are different motivation theories? Would your team be unhappy if you do X, Y, Z? So those kind of things are going to come. What is emotional intelligence, for example? Would you show empathy or not? So it has become easier, you know, people. It has become more art-based art questions. Um, so easier here. 42% question meaning total number of questions are 180 questions. So how many questions going to be uh, there in the exam? Okay, 42 is a lot of maths. Let's say 50% of the questions going to come from processes. So total questions from processes going to be how many? Write on the chat window, please. 90 questions. 90 questions for process. Yeah? Good. Okay. 75, I think around 75. For people, yeah. Percent. For people, yes, yes. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And similarly, 8% going to come from business environment. So the, the way I would work, I would have my seniors, my company is doing some work. So I should have some overview of why I'm doing those kind of stuff. What is there in my senior people mind? How do I ensure that I bring value to them? So all of that is part of business environment. So it has become much more easier, much more logical, um, the way we do our projects. The kind of questions gonna come in the PMP exams are slightly different now. You get questions like true or false. So there's a statement and you are supposed to say whether the statement is true or false. Easy question. Similarly, there could be questions like, there is a meeting happening. This is a daily stand-up meeting. Who all should be who all should be participant in that meeting? So there would be there would be check boxes. You would select multiple people. So there would be development team, project manager, or scrum master, and things like that. So for that, you should know who all should be part of that particular. You know who? What are different roles in agile teams? and whom would you select? So these are multi-select sort of answers. Then there are drag and drop sort of answers. What are drag and drop answers? These are slightly, um, they're very easy. They're fun questions. However, while you do drag and drop, I have heard PMI is slightly dealing with the technical hitch right now. But anyway, let me give you an example of that. So um, there is, you know, how do people um, get evolved? You know, there are mess laws, hierarchy. Um, so first level, second level, third level, fourth and fifth level. So out of, and then there is written, some text is written, for example, security. So where would security come in mess laws hierarchy? So you need to click and drag it on the right place. So these are drag and drop kind of, questions can you see that on your screen whatever i'm writing or it's not getting uh, shown on the screen no no it's not getting shown on the screen apologies no okay now can you see no, ma'am. One sec. So drag and drop would be like mass loss. Now, can you see it like that? You can, right? No, no. one sec. Okay, share. Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah, now we can see. We are apologies. See. Apologies for that. I was writing all the time. Um, so drag and drop kind of questions are there is something like security and then you need to click and put it out here and check boxes questions I told you earlier that there are questions and then who should be able to attend you need to select the check boxes so multi select kind of questions they could be matching questions matching questions are you would have two sites it's like 
your kids would do these kind of questions so which matches with what so those kind of questions fill in the blanks questions wherein very very few questions are fill in the blanks questions so somebody asked me do i need to write a text on things no but you probably would need to write some words for example um so x term denotes um the value value of uh, value of brand in people market so what is that terms and then there are questions like nps um mosco any other term so you need to write okay nps so it's exactly like drag and drop here but you can type as well and one single choice is normal simple wherein you would have questions and a b c d only one simple choice you need to select these are the questions which should be somewhere around 75% of the questions are single choice questions but you would have mix and match of other set of questions as well any question on the pmp exam does it give you a fair idea as to what kind of questions going to come and the question set is now divided into 60 questions 10 minutes of break 60 questions 10 minutes of break and then 60 questions so um section a section b and section c this is how the total um total set of questions going to get divided earlier you can go forward and move backwards for total 200 questions and this is for the reg now you can only do one section at a time so if i have completed one section which is like section a i click on submit i am given a, an options to have a 10 minutes break if i want to if i don't i can ask to start off with section b but then once i have clicked submit it i cannot go back to this section i would start off with new section which has new questions and then i do only these question till here so i can move forward and backward only 60 questions at any point of time what is the timing ma'am 230 is divided by in 3 first section is how much time so you take a you take your own time and you tell the invigilator that i have finished my section and then now can i click on submit so there is no time per se that you should be able to finish section a within xyz amount of time you decide the total okay. time is 230 minute it used to be now it is 270 minutes total time 270 plus breaks plus breaks yes plus breaks of 10 10 minutes okay these 60 questions uh, will come from one domain or all domains all domains mix mixed questions okay so it is no ma'am there is a no limitation of time so suppose if i complete this 60 maybe in 30 minutes so i can submit and yes. i can save uh, will... yes. yes you can okay it's a good it's easy and that's what i'm saying okay. it has become easier for people now so and it gives you you know 60 questions to deal with at any point of time it's easier for people to deal with 60 questions rather than 200 yes, yes. 100 questions earlier it was very heavier stuff on the mind correct yeah so it has so become difficult easier. to sit in 4 hours right i agree so punit has this question exam time you, okay the new update which i have got from my student recently is instead of 230 minutes the the time given to people is 270 minutes plus 10 minutes plus 10 minutes making it equal to 2 how much 290 minutes okay punit okay any question on this okay moving on so um since lot of you are new people as i asked you on the chat and some of you are old aspirants um for people who are new it's very easy for you join any live workshop 
it could be any live workshop so there are two options for new people so i'm just going to write for new students start a fresh join a live workshop or a self study course now the self study course is stopped by i cannot do a self study course i cannot publish a self study course because pmi has prohibited me to do that legally so um pmi is um have hosted a self study course with themselves i think it is 699 us dollars um so have a look at that so that is at pmi.org have checked that out if you want to for new people you need to start off with a live course or a self study course so live course just go ahead and see which live course which instructor works for you which timings works for you and join a live course in the live course you would get 35 pdus plus you should get an understanding of how do we run projects um along with these 35 pdus there is a new content which pmi has updated so you should be able to get this new content from pmi through wherever you are doing live course from um so he or she going to provide you with that new content for example if you come to me i would be able to give you access of that live course um and you should be able to download those files which are updated files equivalent to the new updated course by pmi any questions on this for the new students how do you begin your preparation because it's easy you to for new people you need to anyway start off with understanding the concepts um and you need to gain 35 pdus there are only two ways to gain 35 pdus and understand the concept one either you join a live class whichever live live class you like join that or you join a self study course via pmi.org and you get the 35 pdus plus the new content plus obviously understanding of the entire concepts on which you're going to be tested on once you have done that um for the new student so new so again i'm going to be focusing only on the new st student right now and old i'll talk about it slightly later so the idea is gain understanding get 35 pdus once you have got 35 pdus and understand understood the concepts then you need to practice lot of questions these questions please take them from the right place you can and i'm going to give you some of the resources from where you can choose from these questions do them diligently and do some kind of simulations exam because you need to sit for more than 4 hours so simulate make your body sit for 4 hours make your mind do 180 questions in those 4 hours so at least you are you, you know how the actual pmp exam going to look like so practice test is to evaluate your knowledge every day one practice test to do that and do simulations only then you sit for the exam so that you pass the exam okay meanwhile here you need to fill the pmp application um you can download the pmp application from my website i have given you the url and pmp application require 35 pdu certificate so you need to join a workshop so that that workshop can give you 35 pdu and then pmi going to approve your um application and you can sit for the exam at any point of time so that's how for the new student it should look like any question ma'am from where we can uh, choose the best simulator okay so for, now, um you you decide um there are many many mock tests available as such don't go for free mock tests because those are the questions which are not been uh, updated they might be from pm box 5 pm box 4 pm box 
and probably not updated. So when you look at free questions, then there would be problems like you would lose your confidence. So go with a trusted source um, and see whether those mock tests are updated or not. You can buy from Kavita Sharma if you want to, or you can buy from any other uh, place, whichever you think um, you are getting the most value and uh, update from. So go with that. And how many questions? How many questions are there at Kavita Sharma if I'm going to buy? Okay, so let me show you how the simulator is going to look like, test prep kit going to look like. Um, so this is the test prep kit and you have a plan. Um, you can look at that plan and go ahead and start off with this. I'm sorry about not logged in. So you are provided a username mm -hmm. and login here. So each day, so if you look at this, there are plans, what you should do, do day one, day two, day three, and so on. Um, and the same is here for other people as well. Um, sorry. I wanted to give me a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> So each day, and I'm going to be adding few more um, videos in Agile part of the section. Um, each day, do 30 questions. So all these questions are detailed questions and detailed answers. So if you look at the answers here, these are very, very detailed answers. So 30, why? Uh -huh. Because you have to study and you have to do some work. So this is the uh, day-wise structured way of working and learning and then simulation tests are here, test one, test two, test three, as well as PMI cloned questions, which are test four. So these are the full length tests which you can practice. So that's how this, uh, this is structured. So you get four full length tests, including PMI cloned questions, and you get every day 30 questions, which are very structured to help you prepare on uh, the you know, structured way of reading and then evaluating your knowledge. And uh, how do you re read from where would you read? These are the plans which you need to download and work with. And people pass. Oh, All this basically, pass. yeah. Basically, this is 21 day plan. Uh, preparation That's uh, Actually, I've already prepared. Now I'm looking for a real authentic uh, uh, stimulator uh, okay. where I can test my knowledge. Uh, sure. My exam is on Thursday. I have only five days left. Okay. So I'm going for an authenticated source. So uh, I think it's a good, good option uh, to buy from Kuita Sharma and prep cost, right? You can. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Any other question on this? Let me come back. Um, ma'am, what is the clone PMI clone based question? This is, um, you know, PMI has again uh, came out with, they came out in 2021, they came out with two things. They came out with an alternate to PMBOK. So they, you should not look at PMBOK now. There is a new book called uh, Student Handbook. So that's there for 2021 aspirants. Plus, um, they also have, given or you know as an atp if i am providing training to you if i can buy those cloned questions for you these are the questions which pmi has prepared for as a simulator questions for uh, pmp aspirants to test their knowledge so cloned questions are through pmi pmi has Mem, prepared uh, them uh, PM Bob is not uh, now only one source. So, uh, a student handbook is available. So, um, student handbook is given to only those people who it's part of that thirty-five PDU course. So, if somebody comes to me who is part of that, you know, live class, I should be able to give them th the thirty-five PDU course access, which has the new content here 2021 content 
okay if no you want, need to follow the pm bug no need to follow the pm bug yeah because pm bug anyway would not be only source for the pmp exam now you have agile guide you would have few more people management theory which are not the, the part of agile not even part of the pm bug so how do you manage people that's a different a uh, set of books so it's it's a mix and match of all of that here so this becomes one of the true um store to prepare for your pmp new exam 2021 exam the student handbook 2021 so if i uh, if i if i join kavita sharma dot s then uh, i don't need to uh, buy the uh, pmi self study one and your yeah. uh, material will be kind of a layer above the pm is that's what is that yeah yeah that is correct uh one more thing uh does so uh, pm book old one used to consist of uh, typically waterfall methods so on the screen which says agile does it mean that the agile practices also have been included in the course that is correct punit most of the people who has passed the exam recently from my batches they have come back and given me a feedback at least 40 to 50% of the questions are agile based questions okay so i hope that answers your queries now people who are old students uh, for the region if there is any other person who has done attempt earlier um the option for you is one simple option is attend a live class which is easier you start afresh if you don't want to do that because i know you have put in a lot of time and lot of um, efforts but understand <laughs> there is something called um if you input the same thing in the same process the output would be the same so you need to change some input so that you get a different outcome um so change your method of study or the concept so that you get a pass this time so how how would you do that one simple thing is you can join the live workshop if you don't want to do that there are other other ways to go about doing that you can so i hope so there are three steps to any um, way of working so one is understand the concept the other is evaluate your concept and third is simulate so um for, i think there was another person who wanted to ask the same thing so under if understanding is correct you can skip the live workshop you can start off with test questions so go through the material um, or references and do day wise test prep so 21 days test prep kit if you have evaluated your answers as well as somebody asked me the question i think punit or someone then you just simulate the entire um, pmp pattern and see whether you are passing the exam or not so you need to assess where exactly you are have you understood the entire concept are you here are you here or are you here so wherever you are you need to go to a stage called passing the exam okay so where exactly you are are you towards that stage or you are here and then choose what you need to choose does that make sense dheeraj or yes, any other person so as as my point of view i will start from fresh okay i want to fill up the gaps also because yeah. i have a gap so i want to just erase the all and start exactly afresh. yeah start a fresh is best thing because there are so many times we have our own uh, understanding of patching things. maybe a patching maybe a create again problem i don't want to take risk right okay so um any other question or i'll just update what what i've been doing for a long time so i've been very very busy from january so uh, if somebody is interested to know what's been out we have upgraded the test prep kit live classes are starting from 15th of april which is weekend class 
um how do i run those weekend class i think there was a question i'm going to talk about that and there are these three books which are there updated and live in the market so all three books which will help you pass the pmp exam and i've got great reviews that people pass the exam so all of them are updated with the new syllabus they are live in india market they are live in the in the markets wherever amazon is so they are live through amazon in india market because the money is slightly expensive we have used another publisher for notion press so that india people get it cheaper prices okay uh kavita uh, one question apart from this discussion yeah. and how can i pay if i am purchasing this course uh, because i need the mock test it's showing mm-hmm. 89 89 us dollars and there is an only option to pay through the pay, uh, paypal right. there is no credit card option oh so i if you can pay using inr just ping me on that whatsapp button out there no no i cannot i cannot pay by inr i am in dubai right now okay so then you need to pay through uh, paypal and uh, the there is an option if you go through paypal it will it won't uh, ask you to become a member it will just ask you for a credit card you know just pay put in the credit go down when you click on payment and then you would see those options okay let me try thank you yeah, sure okay any other question ma'am if we join the live classes these books are be part of that course so pmp practice test book is part of the course of the um, all those test which uh, which are part of test prep kit all those tests are from the practice test the study guide is something which i would be talking about and all the test of the study guide you would be practicing um with me as part of the course uh the shortcut book which is there so these are online uh, in the lms learning management system the book called pmp shortcut it will be made available to you as a pdf so that you can just take a print out and then start um looking at the things while we study last time i purchased oh you did but there was no book called yeah. shortcut it used to be itt no. uh, itt yeah 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 itt yes. now we have changed it to something called shortcut because itt us are not relevant now so it's yes. a new book now so you so once we join yeah. yeah once we join your live classes we will get it the pdf of shortcut right. practice test as well as the study guide no 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 pdf of practice test no pdf of study guide you will get access on the learning management system these are questions okay i'll remember yeah so okay, something okay, no like this so you would get so easily available for us yes 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 the entire st- course is yeah yeah the entire course is based on these books okay yeah may <laughs> the telebs course is for uh, i mean for lifetime or it will be valid for some one some time? one 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 year one year okay yeah okay okay so i had got a specific question how do i run my workshops i think that was one of the question which is asked which is not there part of my slide so let me talk about that here because there is some space here to write uh, so before you join the workshop there is a course called bridge to pmp um this is the course which is let me show it to you so that you can actually see it here um i'll i'll just share the url with you i mean not the url i'll just share the screen with you guys so there are different steps the first step is um, when you register for the class you would be made enrolled for this particular course called bridge to pmp now this course is um, at least you should register 3 to 4 days before because this course is slightly longer course this is a self study course so before you come in the class you would go through certain videos and you would do certain questions so these are the videos pre and i've got good feedback on this this is uh, this will help the fundamentals to be in place 
and each of these are study capsules if you look at it because you would read for 10 to 15 minutes and then you would do questions on those whatever you have read and this is adult learning technique similarly here do the questions and then uh, go through the video and do the questions um a section for agile is also put in here and then i want you to definitely know how much you have learned so this is just for you to do a checklist whether you have learned these concepts or not so do that and then baseline assessment test is to help you understand what kind of questions come in the pmp exam there is a homework and then access to pmi course would be provided to you so this is a help on how do you step by step instructions how do you go and click on where is the url what would you do and all of that so that is the course any student going to complete before they come in my class once you have done that we would start off the actual course um so let me come back to so this is bridge to pmp this is called step 1 then we get into the live class live class right now i'm talking about the april class which is a weekend class so saturday and sunday we going to meet so before we meet on saturday and sunday so now there are three saturday and sundays which we going to meet now for each saturday and sunday because this is the first time i'm going to talk about certain concept you would have a homework which you going to be doing on saturday sunday we again going to meet for 3.5 to 4 hours so i'm not limiting time it is based on it changes with people so if we have lot of discussion we might be ending up spending 4 hours in the class if we have um you know not so much of discussion ideally i would try and close it within 3.5 hours because there is whole lot of theory and there are homeworks which you do now doing a homework does not make any sense that i just keep on watching you so we discuss i let you do the theory and theory again in the class we would have similar pattern i'll teach for some time 15 minutes or 20 minutes and then you do questions and i can see how many people are doing questions correctly what is the problem is there a problem with the understanding of a particular concept so that i can explain it again so we do that and then towards the end next day you're going to be doing some homework keep some one to two hours with your time on saturdays and sundays then you get five days of weekend uh, sorry weekdays with you so each day there is some so all those weekdays you would have to read something pre read something because we would be meeting on saturday and sunday we would be completing some work so this pre read going to be provided and told to you so when we meet on saturday sunday again study capsules certain questions study capsules certain questions and if you have any discussion on the pre reads or any other previous previous reads we discuss it at the start of the session and that's how the entire sessions going to be there after these 3 weeks if you have still questions there is no problem we can meet again so i have told all my student that in case you want to meet as a class again let's meet again as a class and i keep on intending to do these meetups with the students as well so in case there are any questions with the students then students can come in the meetup ask the questions so that will be only the student meetups though so uh, did you get your answer ankur yes ma'am yeah so the, the live class is step 2 then there is a step 3 which is pmp application you would get help in filing the pmp application this is the step 3 let me draw the drawing better so the first one is bridge to pmp which is before second is live class the step 3 is filing the pmp application again there is a course on that and then step 4 is pmp test prep kit which is given to you as part of this course so all of this is part of the online course and then you pass the exam all my student pass the exam i think that's the result that's the end result matters so all my student and i've got so many people writing to me after the 2021 change 
so i am yet to publish all of that but people all my student have passed the exam people who have failed in december exam they they passed in this attempt and there are many 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 student believe me in my jan and feb batch like that okay that's pretty much from me any questions why ma'am when the next batch is starting next batch is starting live classes 15th of april what will be the timings it is 7:30 7 to 10:30 india time 7 to 10:30 in the morning in the evening 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 7 to 10:30 and if we are talking a lot then 11 7 to 11 saturdays and saturday pm india time and the old material which we have is yeah. not totally irrelevant right it is like not totally the... irrelevant no 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 it is not so if you if you are a person so punit if you are a person who have done the old format reading and you want to pass through older formats you can upgrade yourself and i told about you know test prep kit you can upgrade yourself so there is an upgrade option so just download agile practice guide download few more things and then upgrade your uh, working and then up, through upgrade option you can uh, pass the pmp exam okay what is the total fee for inr for live classes 26k total including taxes there is no option ma'am uh, for the uh, for paying in inr okay what uh, i think my technical team keep on doing that uh, typically it should come automatically so they check and it is based on some geo local and stuff like that i'll ask them to put a drop down at the right hand side corner wherein you can select the inr or ust i think and then you can pay select the, so the fee the fee included the fees of the course is just for the live class and not for the exam Not exam for the system. exam for in the, in India the exam cost I think is twenty six thousand or twenty nine thousand um, for the PMP exam. So that needs to be paid to PMI directly as part of PMP application filing process. Oh, it is I think triple uh, five dollar, right? Uh, it is near about forty something thousand. correct for indian student they have changed the pricing so if you go to pmi.in if you are to see again it is local based um so if you are in india it they would automatically know you are filing the pmp application from india and the price of the pmp application would come in inr pricing india is getting some kind of discount on the pmp application charging so you would get a discounted prices but ma'am uh, already membership is uh, uh, there is no option to pay the membership and inr i have already taken the pmi membership that is costing around 10800 and uh, i think i have not uh, fulfilled the application but uh, whatever you you are saying is that may might be there be a there will be option for paying in inr for the exam but uh, there is no option for paying becoming a pmi member and paying in inr if if you go to pmi.org na um, i also um, i also did uh, pmi application upgrade pmi membership upgrade because that is for every member you need to do um so if you um, go to pmi let me i i think i've shared that pmi pmp fee india um it shows that and i i have captured it in a video it showed a different fee so once you 
uh, log in to your own uh, PMI, you would show, you would get to see that PMI is showing INR fee, which is pretty less than four four or five uh, US dollars. Okay. So you you are saying that uh, I should not have taken the membership. No, the no, membership, membership is, is uh... same cost. Membership has not changed. Okay, after so the it is not required. I should not have taken it. I think, ma'am, it is the option to change in the profile. You see here. Can you see it right now? 23,459. Can you see it on okay, your screen? Okay, so if I, yeah, if I schedule the exam, then I have to pay this amount. You're saying. That's correct, yeah. Right. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sure. So, Ankur has a question for me. So, Ankur, PMP uh, is not only for IT people or not only for managers. Uh, PMP is for every, every person who has been doing project management. So, you can show um, projects which are in, um, you know, engineering, which are in construction, which are in ship, oil and gas, whichever project. Remember, I told you definition of uh, a project. So just go through the PMP application, which is how do you fill PMP application? There's a video. So just go through this. I think a lot of your questions are going to get solved once you go through this particular video. And then there is this template. Just download that. Okay. Okay. So, ma'am, can you send the link uh, for this uh, paying in INR for your live classes? I want to enroll from 15th April. Definitely. Um, do you want me to put it here on the chat window right now? Yeah, or you can send... Uh, all right, that will be I'll, 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 I'll publish it on the meetup. Uh, thank you. So, you can... You're going to get an email... Um, on the meetup itself, so that would happen. You can also also put it in the chat window. We can copy it. Sure. Give me a minute. I'll just do that. Okay. Any other question while I do this? Ma'am, can we pass PMP in twenty one days? It is, is it practically possible? I passed my PMP in 20 days. 20 days? Yes. And okay. unlike a lot of people, um, I actually did not study for some four or five days at all. So in spite of that, I passed my PMP exam. So you will pass the exam. If you can't, see, the thing is, everybody is different. And everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody has a different background, different. Yeah. And different, everybody is different. Studies. You know, some people study yeah, yeah. only last two days and they pass. Some people study for the entire year and then they pass. So um, yeah. you need to see what works for you. However, this plan can be changed to accommodate. Let's say you study only for one one hour a day or three hours a day. Then you can, if you are studying three hours a day then it becomes easier for you. You can accommodate it um, better. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, uh, one more question. Uh, if, if we take the live classes and uh, proceed as per the your schedule, so when should we schedule the exam ideally? When should we, we, we will be prepared for the exam? From, from 15th April to your classes will 30th. be... 30th. I till, think 2nd second, uh, second May. Till 2nd May. So yeah. um, by end of May, you should be able to schedule your exam. All right. Okay. This is the URL for checking the pricing in INR. By default, if you click on the chat window, you should be able to see prices in INR by default. Once you click uh, on it. How much uh, percentage of questions in the new format are related like practical experience of the projects and not the data? See, the people who have passed the PMP exam, some of them are entirely new who were afresh. Some people were, yes, people from who has failed in the earlier attempts. So um, I didn't specifically ask them that how many questions are in the new format. How, 
is the question on how many questions are on the new content or is the question is on how many questions are on new type of questions you know mix and match and all of that no, so, uh, what i mean to say anyway i think the content is anyways uh, as you described it's totally new right or uh, but what i wanted to ask was the how much of the questions relate to the practical experience of the and not just the definition type oh so none of the questions are uh, um zero questions would be like uh, what is the output of this process and stuff like that so none of the questions are theoretical questions most 99% of the questions going to be practical application of the concepts okay mean the questions are going to be analytical that's correct yeah question is going to be um, analyzing domain understanding domain so these are knowledge domains on which you are assessed on if you if you want to get into more on knowledge industry there is something called bloom's taxonomy so the questions which are recallability level questions they would not come at all in the pmp exam things like what is the output of a process and stuff like that no questions like that so you would always get questions starting from um applying applying is how many channels communication channels are there if there are 10 team members here five there things like that so most of the questions going to be from applying analyzing evaluating these three domains so yes scenario based questions and applying the concept questions Does can you share your uh, whatsapp number Oh, okay. where we can put a diary question it is possible if you are yeah yeah there is a website whatsapp number so you can uh, click on the website kavitasharma.net and there is a whatsapp number out there you can directly ping over there so there is uh, a team of members who are there and they generally uh, redirect it to me in case there are questions specifically for me okay so do you want me to give you that number or you can go to kavitasharma.net what's if it suit you just type it i can just i don't remember save it I'll, directly I'll, 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 no, I'll no 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 sure i will i will do that okay i have that number i'll put here yeah please do thank you so much yeah jagdish i am in oman it's difficult to take the live classes as per india time ma'am thank you ankur so much i know jagdish i'm so sorry about this but you know there are people from canada who wake up at 5 am i think somebody from us who this guy took the classes he used to wake up at 5 am to take my classes so if he can it's it's your preference you know i totally understand um you decide what works for you what does not work for you okay anything else uh, if uh, i'm taking the live classes do the study guide or your uh, study book is required and that in no you don't way? you would get access to it through lms learning management system okay so you would okay. have access to all the questions all the module and everything would be given to you as part of the lms uh, when we get it once we pay it is immediately yeah. access is immediately once you once you register you would get access to bridge to pmp and before we start of the class you know live class let's say on 15th we start you would get access to bridge to pmp two days before and uh, i don't want to give you all the access at one go because that way there are a lot of confusion so you would get access at the right time the study has to be directed and structured so that's the reason you would get access to all of them don't worry but you know in a fashion that it would not uh, let you go hey so you would get access to the live class or study guide content um step by step because bridge to pmp is also from st- study guide content yeah bridge to uh, pmp i have just seen it it is i think it is a uh, same to do itdos earlier you have published in amazon 
No, no. Bridge to PMP is a study course, which is um, you know study capsules, so videos as well as questions. So they are from study guide, PMP study guide. Okay. It will start before the two days of the class only. It will bridge to PMP. You would get access the moment you would uh, register for the class. Oh. Uh, on your Kavita Sharma dot there is one PMP test prep kit. That yeah. has, so that is sans the uh, study guide, right? That study guide. that is PMP practice test actually plus uh, simulation tests. Oh. So PMP test not prep the kit, study not guide. this not the study yeah. guide. Yeah, it doesn't include that. It does not. No. Okay, I any other question? Last question, ma'am. Apart from the course content, what you'll yeah. give, what, what you'll offer us, we don't require <laughs> anything, right? <laughs> you don't need to get any other uh, material from any other okay, place. Okay. You, this would be sufficient okay. for you to pass the PMP exam, so nothing okay. else. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Sure. Okay, great. Thank you guys for joining in this particular session. I really liked interacting with all of you. And uh, let me know in case you have any other question. Let me write my email ID. You can ping me on meetup or you can write to me at here. This is my email ID. Um, in case of any problem, any, anything. And I'll be happy to um, help. And thank you so much for spending your time. Ma'am, yeah. Yeah. Ma I just want to, because I have registered in your uh, credential profile, but it is not opening. So how can you uh, revive? So after that, I can just pay the, the fee. Oh, okay. You don't have to register. You just have to pay the fee before. No, no, no. Uh, now it, now okay. it is open now. My, uh, I already log in when I purchased the ITTOs. So, but oh. there is a no button to purchase the course directly. Yeah. Just click on the live class and then you should be able to buy the course. Okay, let me share the URL with you here. This is how you're going to be buying it here. So, actually, I have the profile in your Kavita Sharma dot end. I just oh. click whatever you have given, it is showing my. I just yeah. click it because the password is already stored, okay. but there is a no button to pay. Only there is a showing. Just click on, okay. Uh, just click on join now. Once you click on join now, you don't have to log in or anything. This is something like this going to come in. And then you can okay. select online payment or direct bank transfer or whatever. So. Okay. There is a no need to put it. My profile is there. Nothing, nothing. You don't need to. Nothing. Here. Just write your email address and things like that here. Okay. Okay. And that's it. If I face any problem, I will ping. Definitely. Sure. Thank Great. You. Thank you, all of you. And um, keep in touch. We'll be anyway, uh, join the meetup group. And if you have any question, we'll have, we'll make this group more interactive. Thank you so much. Have a nice weekend to all of you.